I'm not even gonna attempt to lie. I'm really tired today. Um, but today we're gonna be tackling clear water lake trail. I wanna go the full distance. And that's gonna be tough because I know there's one part of it that is like really steep downhill. I've been on this trail before and I haven't been able to complete it. So I'm looking to complete this one. It's a it should be a short trail, is the thing. I'm gonna try to take the the scenic view and then I'm going to try to take the downhill, which should not be too bad. So let's just keep that just keeping you guys updated for today. I'm planning on doing two trails, uh, Clearwater and Howl Creek, both in Kitimat. Uh, next week is going to probably be Terrace Mountain. That's going to be, that's going to be a grueling one. I can tell you that much. It's going to be pretty damn grueling. Uh, I'm getting, I'm losing some of the chub around my face, which is nice. Usually it'd be like hanging down here. So that's pretty nice. And I, I've got to get breakfast, so I'll keep this in a video, but I'll update you guys later. Detour. This is uh, towards Christ Creek, but I got a stick. I found this really beautiful area just down this the road a bit across this bridge here. You can see it's in pretty shit shape. But, it's absolutely gorgeous here. And there's even a camping site. I might actually be enticed to bring my, uh, my tent here to camp. Because this is pretty beautiful. But, the reason I'm going on such a, a walk bend today is because I really fucked up my diet yesterday. Ooh, it was bad. I had like a pizza. I had two burgers. One was from the dreaded, uh, one was from Kathleen's Grill, and those people are delicious at making burgers. And the other from um, A and W, and they're really good at making burgers. I'm trying to save money. I figure this is the best way to do it. Make sure I'm not being an idiot. Just spending my money on stupid shit. Uh, I'm probably gonna buy a GoPro next paycheck. I'm saving up for it. GoPros are prohibitively expensive. I might get a session, but I don't know if the session has image stabilization. And I really want that image stabilization. Look at this. Another camping spot. I don't like how this whole spot was just abandoned. There's, there's something on there. User maintained. Doesn't look like there's a washroom here though, which kind of sucks. Mainly because I need to use a washroom. I might have to go back. Oh, we got this nice little road here for off-roading. The, the entire bridge is close to the public. So you can't get here with a vehicle. You could probably get here with a quad though pretty easily because there's a little side shoot and I mean if I was really desperate to get my car across here I could probably do it but I'm not that desperate 
so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Just walking on an old riverbed. Which I have my inklings turns into a natural riverbed when the spring flood comes. Hasn't come yet because we've been having actually pretty cold temperatures. Right now there's a cold breeze on me. Yesterday was only 7 degrees Celsius, which is ridiculous. The holy smokes. I didn't think it would be like that cold. But the sun's out. The beautiful here. Looking back. There's supposed to be bears up frequent in this area. So I've got to be careful. This really splits off. Holy smokes. I'll be back. I'm just gonna take my time. Well, I took the easy way up. Well, the hard way up. The steepest climb I could. It's actually not that trail is gorgeous. I kind of wish I brought my tent now and a inflatable mattress. I would dig to sleep there and wake up there in the morning. I think that's what's that's gonna happen next Saturday. I'm gonna do like a camping vlog where I'm just out there in the bush with some toilet paper, some fire, and some hot dogs that are gonna be cooked far away from where I'm staying. All right, thanks so much for watching. This is just a little blog bit for the stream. It's gonna continue after this, but it's, I'm, I was way more tired than I was expecting. And that's partly because of work. So I'll be back later. This is gonna be all jumbled into one. I'm gonna go down the road a little further and we're gonna see what we can find out there. Hopefully it's gonna be some good shit. <sighs> Welcome guys. We are Hirsch Creek Trail, finally. Oh, I just had a big lunch. Had something called the Bastard Burger over at the Bistro in Kitimat. Shout out to them for the absolutely incredible uh, customer service, especially the one at the counter. Although I wish they took debit, but I think their debit machine's broken at the moment. So I had to run down to uh, to the ATM to get myself some cash. I've not really been far down this trail. Uh, I tried to attempt it when I was around 500 pounds. And at that moment, I could only get, like, I don't even think a kilometer in. So, past a certain point, this is all going to be new to me. I'm tripping up today. I need to get new shoes, but I'm currently broke as fuck. So... That's not happening until uh, next bay. Garbage. That's really sad. There's garbage around here. Tim Horton cup, milk the go cup. People need to take better care of this trail. The uh, reason I didn't start recording earlier, because there was a little bit of a walk to get up here, is because there was a couple in front of me and I didn't want to invade their privacy. But yeah, like I was saying, I totally wrecked my diet yesterday. <sighs> I was so mad at myself. Don't get me wrong. Kathleen's Girl Burgers, ace. But um, I was so mad at myself for just 
getting them. Because it was like... I got a mushroom Swiss burger from Dairy Queen with onion rings. And then like, only, I think, four hours after that, I got the burger from Kathleen's Grill. And I'm like, man, what is fucking wrong with me today? I think at that point I was just craving something other than what my meager diet was. Because like I said, guys, I've been really cutting down on my eating. I think that week I was living on leftovers from, <laughs> from my work. Because I work at a gas station and they got hot food. So I was like downing torquitos and all sorts of bullshit. Not healthy stuff. But not a lot of unhealthy stuff either. So this seems like a really just genuinely very easy trail. Doesn't seem too hard. Very... I wonder if it's short. I bet it's really short. Like there'll be like a turnaround point. So if they've got this one to do, I've heard from the locals that are there are some other trails I can do. I'm going to have to ask around about Christ Creek. Because I could not find that trailhead for the life of me. I know it's a trail. But then again, there's also like... A lot of construction going on there. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was just complete bullshit going up there. That ride that I showed, uh, I'll be uploading it, but there was a ride up to there and I ran into a security officer. <laughs> It said there was no heavy traffic. And as I'm going up this mountain road, um, there's a grader coming down it. So I'm going to have to invest in a radio to do call-ups. If I'm going to be going on any of these mountain roads to hike. Um, my goal for next week is to do the Sleeping Beauty Trail. And that's going to be over by uh, Kitson Kalem Reserve on the way to Red Sands. That is supposed to be a very beautiful trail, but a very tough one. So don't know how long I'm going to last on that one. I'm hoping fairly long. Right now I'm trying to burn off all those calories from that burger. Two patties, garlic mayo aioli, lettuce, tomatoes, bacon. <laughs> Not the healthiest choice, but if that's all I'm going to be eating today, I don't mind it. I'm really eager to get below 300. That is gonna be the moment that's just gonna be like, oh, thank God. I've still got 100 pounds to go to that point. So I need to push myself. I need to really push myself. And I'm probably going to have to continue to push myself for the rest of my life. And that's not going to be fun, but it's going to be important. I think when I first came here to, uh, to BC, I was 
295. And then I just let go of myself. Because there was, I lived in a rural town before. There was no fast food places. So fast food was really a delicacy in the rural area. And I got an allowance of $25. So I think what happened was I just, I started eating a lot of fast food. And I just didn't do anything to compensate that. Like, I think back in the day, I used to get like two double matzas with two orders of sweet potato fries. Like, it was ridiculous how bad for it. How bad it was for me. So past this point is a point I have not gone on. There's a trail down there. I don't know what goes down here, but I think it looks like this is the Hirsch Creek Trail. So we continue on this one. All right. Nice little descent. Trees everywhere. Okay. Lots of ways down to the water. Which I don't plan on falling down to today. It appears this creek is fairly well managed though. Let's cut down logs. If anything, I think this is the one that I'm probably gonna have a live stream when I get enough money. Another thing I'm focusing on right now is getting a, uh, a gimbal and a Galaxy smartwatch. Because I want to more accurately track my steps. Rather than using my phone. But I'm going to tuck you away. And we're going to find some beautiful parts of this trail. I think this deserves... I've gotten out of here. Out of the trail. Oh my god, look at this. Look how clear that water is. I'm I'm not going to move any closer, but oh my god, it's beautiful. That looks like perfect swimming hole territory. Like legit beach right there. Fucking chilling in that pool. Got a big ass area there but I don't trust it that looks like it's probably not the best part this one this looks perfect though I totally go for that I bet there's a nice trail down there too yeah that'd be perfect or there that would be pretty good too see a little creek here I'll two times it See the little creek it's dripping into there? Oh, that looks nice. This bridge isn't in good condition. I'm guessing I'm on a unserviced road. Is my best bet. But I'm curious to figure out where this goes. So, Oh yeah, there's a little trail down there. Right there. See it? Little trail. Alexander Keys. I'm drinking out of here. I probably will meet up with some quad people if this is a discontinued trail. And it's not like I'm lost or anything, but signage. Where does the signage go? Oh, 
No way. There's a bridge down there. Where does this go to? What is this? Hearst Creek Canyon Trail. It doesn't stop. I thought it stopped. Oh man, it's gonna be beautiful. All right, we continue. With a moderate downhill. I'm not looking forward to going back up this. Little tiny creek. There's that creek I was talking about. It's cool. People four wheeling down there. This looks like it's all for us, baby. Alright, looks like there's a caution sign. Caution. Uneven trail service surface. All right, let's go canyon. I knew this had to lead somewhere. I'm glad I actually followed it and didn't turn back. I was about to end the video there. I know you guys can't smell it, but it's like this swampy smell in here. I'm interested to figure out where this canyon trail is. Obviously, there must be like a stream that flows through here during the springtime. It's very easy going this trail. Doesn't mean I'm not any less out of breath. Those two two beef patties are catching up to me. <laughs> the thing was humongous. I like had to squish it down just to get a bite of it. I didn't even bother with the photo. Because it's one of those challenge ones. And a little log to sit and reflect. Nice little log. Just to do a little log thing. All right. Switch around. I can't. Damn it. Give me a second. Gotta stop it. All right. I didn't think this trail would go on for so long. I thought it was really short, but we're gonna see what's gonna be continuing on out, out over there. Just give you a view. It might be possibly pretty damn beautiful. I can hear a, a stream going. So I'm guessing it's probably gonna be like some sort of water feature or something like that. So I'm going to continue on and then I'm going to update you when I see something beautiful. Look at this. Really cool. The rapids over there. There's also people behind me. So I don't want to give their privacy away. Look at this big ass tree that fell. That's cool. Ooh. Close. Almost as cool as the way they made these trails. Stepping stones. <laughs> I'm having nightmares of Gunsight Trail now. Seeing these stepping stones. Whew. I'm out of breath because the last section was killer. Staircase up, though, much appreciated. But it was wet. And mucky and soggy. Obviously, some drainage issues going on here. 
<laughs> okay, this is legit gun sight trail lives. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. It's not nearly as bad, but it's giving me vibes. Oh, fuck. So let's see if I can get through this. Oh, boy. Doesn't that look enchanting? Uh, and this is a trail, too. I'm going to have to do this. I don't know how long this trail goes. I'm going to have to actually research. I'll, uh, I'll report back when I've done some research. And this is where I nope out. <laughs> Not only that... But that's how I had to get through here. I'm officially noping out. <sighs> All right. So today I've walked a grand total of six kilometers, 6.8, 9,000 steps. And that's just going this way. So, um, I think we did a fairly good exercise today. And burned off a shit ton of calories. So let's get up here and let's get back to the car. And I'll give an update once I get back there. Whew. Holy smokes. That was one hell of a trip. Back down was torturous. Um, a lot of slip and slide. Anybody actually preparing to do this trip I would actually recommend not going up this section it's just not worth um, the views but there were inventive trail ways on there and I can see somebody who's probably more fitter than me getting a lot out of that because I stopped um, at this point where there's a river crossing and I'm like mm, I don't think I can do that Especially with what, how the way up looked, it was really nasty. And I'm heading back. I'm debating whether I should do um, Clear Water Trail after this. I'm thinking I'm actually going to visit the shoe shop and get some new shoes first. Ah, there's mosquitoes biting me right now. So I'm going to head back to the car and we'll have to update from there.